Hello, this is a presentation about acceleration due to gravity. How does an object move when it is dropped? Well, I'll begin by trying to explain how an object moves by using a, a kinematics equation. And this equation looks like this. The D stands for displacement, the U stands for um, initial velocity, T is for time, and A is acceleration due to gravity. Now, when you drop something, and that's uh, probably the simplest example to begin with, U, the initial velocity, is equal to zero. Oh, zero meters per second. The displacement will be described in meters. The acceleration due to gravity will assume that's constant. And it's very close to 10 meters per second per second, or 10 meters per second squared. Now that uh, uh, variable d is uh, sometimes described as a um, dependent variable. It's um, dependent on time. T is the independent variable. Displacement will change due to time, due to a change in time. That expression ut you, are, you needn't worry about that in this very simple example because since u, the initial velocity, is zero, ut is zero. Since a is equal to 10, a half times 10 is 5. So t d, in terms of t, is simply equal to... Um, 5t squared. Now, how will d vary with time? This is t described in seconds. This is d, the displacement. described in meters. Now, time t equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. What is the displacement at t equals 0? That's when you've dropped it, the, the instant that you've dropped it. Well, 0 meters. 0 squared times 5 is just 0. After one second, after one second, well, it's 1 times 1 times 5. After one second, the displacement is 5 meters. In this very simple example, when you drop uh, an object, uh, it'll accelerate due to gravity, and it'll have moved 5 seconds, uh, sorry, 5 meters after one second time uh, t equals 2 seconds, 2 times 2 equals 4, times 5 equals 20. After 3 seconds, the displacement will be 3 times 3, that's 9, multiplied by 5, 45. And lastly, after 4 seconds, 4 fours are 16, times 5 equals 80. So what does all that mean? Well, it means that after 4 seconds, the object that you have dropped would have travelled 80 metres. 
Now, um, what's interesting is what what happens during that first one second because the object travels five meters during that first second. During that second second, the object travels 15 meters. After two seconds, it travels a total of 20 meters. But during the second second, it traveled 15 meters. What happens during the third second? Well, 45 minus 20, that's 25 meters. So the object that you've dropped during the third second traveled 25 meters. After three seconds, it may have traveled 45 meters. But during the third second, it traveled 25 meters. And during the fourth second, it traveled 35 meters. And you can see a very interesting pattern emerging. The distance it travels per second increases by 10 meters every second. So when something is being dropped and it's, and it's accelerating due to gravity, what you'll see is the distance it covers every second increasing by this constant amount, 10. 